right, everybody, it's time to work on our draw to first shot presentation and work on the actual practice methods that will make us fast, accurate, and reliable with our defensive pistol from the holster. We're going to get under two seconds this week. I'm going to show you how to do it. So thanks, Mantis, for sponsoring our Dry Fire Monday. But this week, let's speed it up. The Mantis X firearms training system attaches to any gun with a rail and to your phone via Bluetooth to track barrel movement every shot you take. Use it to help you be the most accurate, fastest shot you possibly can in a defensive encounter. I use it in my training all the time. Okay, so as always, we're gonna dry fire in a safe environment. So I'm using a mag block and I'm using a barrel block here. This is Benvolio, my P30 that I am working on uh, getting into my everyday carry rotation. So uh, we're working on getting faster. And last week we worked on a safe, accurate, reliable draw to first shot. We wanted to do that. Now, let's talk for just a minute because I hear this phrase all the time, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. That equates the two, slow is fast, and that's inane on the surface of it, right? Ipso facto, slow is not fast, slow is slow, is fast is fast. But instead, what we can say is, is that if we work slowly, we can make sure we're working efficiently. That's smooth that most people talk about. That we can remove the extraneous motions. And you don't have to be faster if you are sooner. That's something that I'm really internalizing, learned it from Scott Jedlinski. So knowing how to go in a efficient manner is incredibly important. So let's remember what we were doing last week. Again, we were just working from this place of removing our extraneous motion, getting the gun, driving the gun out, getting my first shot when I have an acceptable sight picture, and then slowly, carefully, correctly putting the gun away. What we're gonna do though is eventually you gotta work fast. You gotta start letting the myelination happen, letting it go, so then that way you can do it faster. And we actually have a way that we do this in classes on live fire in the uh, Survive the Fight Tour that I'm gonna show you today that'll make you faster. Couple details, you'll notice that I'm wearing one of these kinda, you know, not regular cotton undershirts. I always wear an undershirt under my polo, but today I am not only wearing that, but I'm wearing the one that's kinda black and it's like spandexy, so that I can grab like I did, you know, I always grab the belly button, pull that up, and I can do that a whole bunch and it doesn't move so that I can get more practice in and have less time stuffing t-shirt where it belongs. Now, you'll also notice as we start getting faster, I'm using the Pocket Pro here uh, just to give me some timing. You know, you could do that on your smartphone, or honestly, the best way once it gets going is, as you're timing yourself, is to use the Mantis app. You know, if, if you had, um, unfortunately, I don't have the magazine floor plate adapter, I don't have a universal adapter, but if you have a Glock or a Smith & Wesson, they make a magazine floor plate adapter for the Mantis, put that on there and then use the timed benchmark and it'll tell you when your dry fire shot went, so you know exactly when it went and exactly what it was doing, which is by far the easiest way rather than guessing. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're actually going to myelinate the neural pathways that are gonna get us where we wanna go. Some people call that muscle memory. That's a discussion for another day. But we're gonna myelinate a path. We're gonna tell our brain, hey brain, this is exactly how I want my hands, my arms, my body to operate so that I can get to do what I need to do. And then as we speed that up, that will force our brain to start automating that pathway and myelinating the neural path that says, hey body, go do this thing without the extraneous motion. And the way that we do that, is we start very deliberately. Now this is something that I learned actually watching a YouTube video of all things. It was a video that Travis Haley did. And in that video, he showed how he went from five seconds down to you know a second and a half or so uh, by doing this. And I started working on it. It works very, very well. So credit to him for this approach. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna set our part timer to five seconds. That's exactly what I've done. I have a part time. My second part time is set at five seconds. And, and so now what we're trying to do here is we are absolutely not trying to beat five seconds. I'm trying to actually use five seconds. So you're gonna get that first beep that's gonna be random. And at that beep, what you're gonna see is I'm gonna count one Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago, five Chicago, and try to get the hammer to drop exactly on that five seconds, within a 10th if I possibly can. Very close is where I'm at because I'm not trying to, to get out there quickly and wait. I'm not trying to go one Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago and wait out there forever. I'm trying to let the motion take the time to do the thing and get it right. So let's see if I can get this right. I haven't practiced any today, so let's see if we can get one. Here we are. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago, five Chicago. So I was just a touch late there, but not really. You could see I was probably a, a, a tenth or two after, maybe two tenths after. Let's put this bad boy away again. Let's try that again. I wanna hit that 
five seconds. And you notice that I was just doing everything as right as I possibly could. I was trying not to move my elbows until the gun came out, something we've been talking about with appendix carry, trying to get my mechanics to work correctly. Let's see if we can do it again. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago, five Chicago. Now you see that was a really bad rep. Do you notice how fast I went there? That was not the rep I wanted. I screw them up too. Let's try it again. Nice and slow, John. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago, five Chicago. Yep, that's about right what I wanted. Let's try it again. <sighs> One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago, five Chicago. Yep, that's right where I wanted to be. Okay, so now I'm starting to feel it at five seconds. I'm getting those motions out there, no wasted motion. So now we're going to count, we're just going to focus on no wasted motion at the five second mark. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago, five Chicago. Yep, that's right where we wanted to be. Okay, cool. So once we get really good at that, we've done 10, 15, 20 reps. You can do 20 reps, 30 reps, but you don't want to stop there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change our part timer. So now we are going to get our second part time, our beep, second beep, at four seconds instead of five seconds. And when we do that, now we're just going to do the same thing. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago, right? So piece of cake. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago. Yep, right there, maybe a tad slow. Try it again. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago. There it was, right on time right there. Good. I think my Chicago's are getting on time. Here we go. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago, four Chicago. Yep, felt good about that. Okay. Now, I could do another five or six of those. For the sake of the video, we'll shorten it up. Let's go to three seconds on our part timer. Okay, now we set our part timer to three seconds. Again, I still have all day, right? The national standard for a concealed carrier is under two seconds. So three seconds is all day, but here I've got to just not let, have any hitches. Just take your time and get to your spot. You don't have to be faster if you're sooner. But again, let's work now on three Chicago's. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago. Okay, a little bit slow on my count. Let's speed my count up a little bit, no problem. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago. Yep, a little bit early that time. But does it look like I'm hurrying to you? Because I'm not hurrying. It doesn't feel like I'm hurrying. It feels like I'm quite slow. All right, let's try it again. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to see. Saw everything that I needed to. No hurries whatsoever. Got all the time in the world. One more time. One Chicago, two Chicago, three Chicago. Yep, right there. Feel really good about that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now is, is rather than go all the way to two seconds, let's just go to 2.5 seconds here and just kind of get a feel for what that does. So there's 2.5. And again, we're just going to walk our way down to it. So let's see what 2.5 two is. So it's one Chicago, two Chicago, three sh click. Okay. One Chicago, two Chicago, three sh click. Okay. That's what we should feel. One Chicago, two Chicago, three shit. Yep, piece of cake. Now, did it look to you like I was going fast there? Shouldn't, because that's still a pretty slow draw. And I didn't feel fast. It just felt like I just had to do my thing and get the gun out. All right, let's feel that again. One Chicago, two Chicago, three shit. Yep, right there. Felt it, saw it, saw my sights, saw everything that I needed to. Saw the dot over my target, feeling good about that. Let's try it again. One Chicago, two Chicago, three shit. Yep, saw everything that I needed to, got there, and feel really good about that. So again, I could take 10 reps here, 15 reps, just to really feel how that's going. Now you notice, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. No, not really, but now because I'm myelinating the process, I don't have to think about making sure that my hands are in the right spot, making sure that everything works. So now what we would do, what we do in class, is now we go down to about a 2.2 beat, right? So that's one Chicago, two Chicago, three click. Okay, one Chicago, two Chicago, three click. Let's kind of get a feel for that. One Chicago, two Chicago, three. Yep, right on time. And again, I'm seeing everything. Didn't have any problems with anything there. Let's do it again. One Chicago, two Chicago, three. Yep, perfect. Got the dot exactly where I wanted it to. See everything that I needed to see, not having any problems. Try one more time. 
One Chicago, two Chicago, three. Yep, just a touch early there. I dropped the hammer just a tiny bit early, but no big deal. Okay, so now at 2.2 seconds, I'm not having any problems. So now we're, as far as we're gonna go today, we'll just go down to two seconds and then we'll kind of see what we can do. So, you know, two seconds is again, one Chicago, two Chicago, click, right? One Chicago, two Chicago, click. So this is the standard, the national standard for a concealed carrier that if I'm in a, in a hands up ready position or I could be down at my sides, just don't do this, don't do that tactical turtle or whatever in whatever ready position that I wanna be from concealment and a static range, I wanna be able to draw and put one shot on target in two seconds. Now we started at five, now does this look fast to you? Does this look like I'm hurrying or anything like that? Hopefully it doesn't, but let's see kind of what we've got, okay? Let's get a feel. Two seconds here, one Chicago, two Chicago, click. No big deal. One Chicago, two Chicago. I actually had all day at the end there. Did you notice that? I kind of went a little fast in the beginning. So I've been myelinating this and, and my regular is I'm down around oh one three or so right now on a regular basis. So I was able to really take my time and get my click at the two. Let's try it again. <clears throat> one Chicago, two Chicago. Yeah, I was a little ahead of it there because again, I'm going a little fast now and trying to make sure that I get under the beat. Slow down, John, slow down. Here we go. One Chicago, two Chicago. Yep, that was a much less frenetic uh, uh, iteration. Did you feel it? I sure felt it. Let's try it again. One Chicago, two Chicago. Yes, I had it all day. Notice I almost got a little hung up on the, the cover garment there, but I was just enough that I was able to get that out of there. So you can go further than that as well. Now, when you go live fire, I back it up just a little bit, so then that way you're making sure that you're safe. But let's go down a little bit, and we'll head down to, say, oh, how about a 1-8 a right now? 1-8 right now is one Chicago, two Chiclick. One Chicago, two Chiclick. One Chicago, two Chiclick, okay? Let's get a feel for that. Just 1.8, really not much faster. One Chicago, two Chiclick. There we go, I did see my sights, that was good. Okay, easy peasy again, not moving very fast, just taking my time because I started at five seconds. Let's get another one. One Chicago, two Chicago, there we go, easy peasy. Now, so now I'll go ahead and go all the way down today to the standard of uh, uh, professional. So a professional standard of concealed carry is 1.5 seconds, okay? So that's one Chicago, two Chiclick. One Chicago, two Chiclick. Okay, so again, only about three tenths faster than what we're doing before, so no big deal. All I have to do here is just let the gun go. So now I'm really kind of letting the speed happen. Okay, now I'm just going, hey, look, I gotta just let my brain, who I've trained to do these things that we worked on last week, to start to do it without me having to think about it. You have to be able to let it go. So let's just see how I'm doing with that today. 1.5 is what our standard is. One Chicago, two shifts, no. Now, one of the things that you saw there, I didn't quite get it, because I hitched up on my belt. I didn't drive here, I kind of fished instead. I like fished for it this way, rather than drive like I should have. So, had a hard time there, it was probably 1.6, 1.7. Let's try it again. One Chicago, two shifts, yep. Out and easy there, no problem. So everything that I needed to see. Feel good about that, let's try it again. One Chicago, two shift. Yep, got it, feel good. So this standard here is where I'm working down from now. So if I go down a little farther, I'm like I say, I'm about a 1.3 guy right now. Need to do a little bit more work to get underneath that. But that's what you see. So we work today right now in the last 10 minutes and in uh, from five seconds down to 1.5 seconds. So here's your challenge this week. Your challenge this week is to get 200 reps in, and I want you to start every single practice session using your smartphone for a timer app, using the Mantis would be the best way with the, uh, the time benchmark, and then just, or, or the compressed surprise break, that's the one that I would use that gives you a beep and then times your shot from there. But guys, get those reps in and move from five to four to three to two and a half to two. And, and if you can work closer than that, awesome. And we'll start working on how that translates into live fire in another week.